Hey guys, this is Mark with iAppleTech128, and today we are going to be checking out Parallels 11 Desktop. So in this video, we are going to be checking out version 11 of Parallels, which includes a couple of really cool features. And this is the app right here, very similar to the previous version, but with a couple of um, pretty cool features. So as you can see, everything is very similar to the previous version of Parallels, but it does have a couple of nice additions. And if you want to learn more about how Parallels actually works, what you can do with it, we have our full Parallels 10 review and everything's pretty much exactly the same. So you can go ahead and watch that. They'll be linked up in the top right hand corner or in the description below. Um, that will go take you through every single thing about Parallels. This video is mainly a review on what is um, different and changed. So if you are playing on running Windows, which most of you are probably going to, there's a couple of really cool additions that make the experience a lot better with Windows. So first, you it will start up 20% faster, so the times to actually turn on your virtual machine is going to be much quicker. Also, if you're on a laptop and you are traveling, it has a travel mode, which will give you better battery life, slightly less performance, but better battery life while you're traveling. If you have a document from Windows on your Mac, you can now use the space bar and use the quick look feature to view that information of the Windows document without having to actually open Windows. This version also brings a couple of additional features that the Mac has that Windows didn't yet have, and that includes location services and printers. So all the location services that you have set up will now transfer. So now Windows will take advantage of the location services inside of the Mac and then use it for Windows applications. Also, printers that you already have set up on OS X will transfer to Windows, so you don't have to reset up any of those. If you are planning on running a second version of OS X El Capitan, whether that be a beta as of now or the full version when it comes out, this also has full support for that. And probably one of the most notable features is Windows 10 support. This brings full support for Windows 10 everything works as it should and it also has a couple of really cool things one of them being cortana so now it works inside os 10 outside of windows and it's always listening so you just use your voice command and it will automatically pull up so you kind of have siri on your mac instead it's cortana the version that i have right here is parallels 11 pro edition which means that you get some really cool features that you don't really get with the basic version. One of those being Visual Studio plugin for debugging any version of Windows. We also got some more advanced networking tools for developers. This is what mainly the pro version is for, is for developers. So you can make sure that what you are doing is going to work on lots of different operating systems. And we also have full command line control of machines, so you can control pretty much anything that any of these machines do, which is also pretty cool. But that is going to do me for this quick review. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this hands-on, be sure to leave it a like as well. Thank you so much for watching. As always, hit that subscribe button for more videos, and I will see you right back here in the next one. Thanks for watching.